dryer, a plant-based meal planning expert, and the founder of Batch Cooking Club, a weekly vegan meal prep membership that makes dinner easier. I am here with crispy, our, our recipe for crispy chickpeas today, and we are here every Thursday with a live cooking class featuring one of the recipes from our weekly meal and prep plans that drops every Wednesday to our members. Speaking of which, shout out to our members and everyone who is watching live. We appreciate and thank you for being here. Go ahead and drop in the comments where you're watching from. And if you're watching in replay, drop a hashtag replay. We love connecting with everyone from all over the country and even all over the world. Shout out to our Canadian members and our UK members. We love you all. And I am so excited to share this recipe with you. We will post the link for the full list of ingredients, so don't worry about um, writing down feverishly. And um, ask any questions you have along the way. Even if you're watching a replay, we look at all of them and get back to you. So I'm gonna show you this recipe for crispy chickpeas. This is one of the recipes we are batch cooking in our weekly plan this week for to top our curry cauliflower soup. So chickpeas are amazing, right? We use them in hummus, we use them in um, dips and all, and, and make sauces and all this stuff, but you can also enjoy them as a snack. And this is a great alternative to snacking on processed foods. It's a great way to alternative to nuts as well. I just love them, but I also love them as we're doing in the soup, using them as like a crouton um, or a topping. I will often put crispy chickpeas in Caesar salad as a crouton instead of bread. So this is a great gluten-free option for mixing it up a little, if you will, and adding more plant protein to your dish. So the first thing you need are some chickpeas. And the recipe I'm gonna show you today is a little bit Indian inspired because again, we're topping our curry cauliflower soup. And if you want that recipe, you can head over to batchcookingclub.com backslash blog. That curry cauliflower um, soup is up on our blog and then you can top them with these chickpeas this week. So the first thing you wanna do um, is rinse and drain your chickpeas. And again, this is a great base recipe. I'm doing a little Indian inspired to go on our soup, but I've done them with rosemary. I've done them with just salt and pepper. Like you, you can put a little balsamic vinegar on them. There are so many ways you can change these up so many different ways. So I have rinsed and drained these and I'm going to take just a, I have a cutting board under here and I have a plain, clean dish towel and I'm going to dry, I'm just gonna rub over the chickpeas and I wanna get the little skins off. I will show you in a second as I'm rubbing these. See these little skins? Oops, run away chickpea. We wanna get those off so that the you're drying them at the same time. You wanna get them as dry as possible and get the skins off so that when you coat them with your herbs and your spices, they adhere better. So that's what we're gonna do. You can really, you cannot really mess these up. There's no way to do these wrong. It's all the, se have fun, do different seasonings and spice blends. Again, you could do balsamic vinegar, you could do soy sauce on them, you could do your favorite marinade. Um, and then the, the key to getting them crispy, again, is getting them dry before you coat them. And then how long you wanna put them in the oven. So we've got the oven at 400, and 400 degrees um, Fahrenheit, and we are gonna cook them for about 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how crispy and crunchy you like them, of course. And you wanna give them a little shake halfway through so that they get coated and cooked, or they get cooked evenly all over. So I'm just gonna keep, this is literally the hardest part of the recipe, is I'm just make, giving them a very good rub down, basically. I'm massaging them, and this is actually very soothing. <laughs> it's like those, those balls, those stress balls that you squish. This is actually very soothing. It feels like, on, I don't know if you ever do that on your feet, they have those massage things that you just roll your foot over. That's what this feels like on your hands. This is a great job if you have kids. This is a great job for the kids to do. Get them in the kitchen. Get them making a homemade snack. Okay, so you can already see a lot of the skins are kind of shedding away. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, you can just kind of see that there. I'm going to put them on my, um, baking sheet here, I'll move this, 
spices over. I have a baking sheet lined with a silk hat mat. You can also do parchment paper just for easier cleanup. So I am just kind of, um, I'll just do these by hand to make sure I get all of the, the little skins off and we're just gonna transfer them there and then we're gonna season them up. So let me tell you a little bit about these chickpeas. So I mentioned they're going to top our curry cauliflower soup. So that's what we do here every week at Batch Cooking Club. We give you four dinners and then we give you four to six recipes to prep on the weekend to speed up those dinners during the week when you need the help the most. So you can ideally get dinner ready in anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes using our prep plans every week that walk you step by step with what to do in what order so you get those four to six recipes done in two hours or less on the weekend and dinner on the table in 10 to 30 minutes during the week. So this week, we have on the menu the curried cauliflower soup with crispy chickpeas. We also have a uh, fiesta cauliflower and chickpea taco recipe. We always give you one ingredient or component, in this case, the chickpeas and cauliflower, that you can make a double batch of but use in two completely different ways. So this week, we are doing using, we're roasting cauliflower and chickpeas in two completely different ways for two completely different meals. We also have on the menu a Chinese tofu salad. It's our take on a Chinese chicken salad, and it's delicious if I do say so myself. And we also have a spring lentil quiche where we are making spring lentils on the weekend along with some um, lemon mustard roasted fingerling potatoes and asparagus. And that all gets folded into the quiche during the week for a very elegant yet very doable weeknight meal. If you ever want to check out our menu for the week, you can do that at batchcookingclub.com backslash this dash week. And you can also try us for free, not for free, for a dollar, almost free, for the whole month at batchcookingclub.com backslash trial. Again, if you want in on these recipes, head over there, sign up today, and you can join us this weekend while we're doing our meal prep, and we'll be eating these recipes together next week. Um, our members will, that is. Um, okay, so I'm just talking away here. The things that we're gonna batch cook in addition to these chickpeas is we'll make that um, some roasted cauliflower, like I said, for those um, tacos, and we'll also make our soup. And I mentioned we're making the lentils and the potatoes um, and asparagus for that quiche. So that's how it all comes together. Now, I would advise that you make a double batch of these chickpeas because they go fast. They're very easy to snack on, which I don't know, is that bad or good? I don't know, I always feel good about making snacks that I can control the oil level, I can control the sodium, and you save a lot of money because you can actually buy these at the store. I'm sure you've seen them at your health food store, and they're a bit, they're kind of expensive for just a little bag. So here's like an easy way to make them before. Has anybody made roasted chickpeas before? Anyone watching, if they have, let us know. I would love to hear what some of your favorite herb blends are. Um, I also love, in addition, I mentioned the rosemary and the balsamic vinegar. I also really enjoy putting a little cayenne pepper, salt, pepper, and garlic um, powder. So that's like a really delicious blend too. Paprika, a sweet paprika or a smoked paprika always is delicious as well. So you can really Greek. I love Penzi Spices is one of my favorite. Um, it's a mom and pop spice company and they have some great seasoning blends. So you could even like just take one of their pre-done Greek seasoning, a pizza seasoning, and make, make a really easy blend there too. So I'm all about taking help from the store. You don't always have to do it yourself. And having those pre-made blends is, can be very helpful. So, okay, I know this is, I, I'm telling you, this is the longest part and I'm a bit of a type A perfectionist, so that's why I'm kind of going, taking my time here. Um, all right, what else do I want to share with you all? If you have questions, again, let me know. I'd love to hear where we're watching from. Um, let's see, we just got a few more here. And they come off, I don't know if you can tell, the skins fall off really easy. It's not like I'm working it hard here. I'm literally just picking them up one by one. That's what's taking the time. They literally, it falls off. See how it's just, it's, it's coming right off. It just takes a little time to get them all sorted. Now I'm going to use 
olive oil to just coat them, but you don't have to use olive oil. If you are going oil free, and we do in all of our recipes, we have options to make them oil free, nut free, soy free, gluten free. So I mean, it says soy, gluten, oil, and nuts. I think I could cry almost all the allergens. Um, and we have an ingredient substitution guide for every ingredient in each of our recipes. So if you don't find, have something on hand, you can't find it at the store, or you just have a picky eater or husband that's not going to eat that, we have options for you. And in our private members group, um, every week I do a live call, Q&A call, and you can ask for help on how to adapt the recipes for your family. We have a lot of families with mixed um, eaters from plant-based and omnivores. And so we want you to just make it easy. We want you to make one meal. We don't want you to make two different meals. So we give you options on how you can please everybody with just the one meal. All right, can you see all these little fun shells here? Or I don't even know what they call this. If anybody knows what these are called, the skins, I'm calling them skins. All right, so that is done. I'm gonna move this over to the side and bring all of my spices over. All right. So, oop, one got away. See, I told you I'm a perfectionist. I just like, I find this very relaxing. I have to tell you, like I said, I, I do find it very relaxing. Okay, <laughs> a little bit there, a little bit there. Okay, I'm gonna give a little drizzle, just a little, a little tad. Just, I'm gonna just do a little drop because I'm gonna use my hands. And we have this all in the recipe for you for, um, how much amounts, but I'm just gonna eyeball it right now. I have some turmeric. Again, we're doing an Indian spice blend, so I'm just gonna do a little sprinkle there. Turmeric is so good for you, by the way. So that's a great way to add turmeric into your diet, is just by sprinkling it on stuff. And then we have coriander. I don't know about you guys, but I wish they did not come with these little things. I always want to just do it myself. And that way I see, I, again, you can measure and put the amount of seasoning you want yourself and sodium, you can, you can get all of that. So I'm just kind of, again, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm from the school of Rachel Ray. We just eyeball it. Now I'm adding in a little garlic powder. That's not in the original recipe, but I love garlic and everything. And I think it just adds to everything. I'm going to do a little black pepper. And of course, a little sea salt. All right, then the fun part, again, another fun, um, you know, activity for your kids, get them to just roll them, clean hands, of course. I'm just coating them all. And then you can try taste them before you put them in the oven and see if you want to adjust anything. Like I need, I think they need a little salt. So I'm gonna add a little more salt. Mmm, the turmeric, yum. And we'll add a little bit more coriander too. Why not? Okay, so I'm gonna do a little more salt. And where's that coriander? A little bit more coriander. Okay, let's give them another little zhuzh. Okay. See, did you taste them? We're gonna put those in the oven. Again, they're gonna cook for about 30 ish minutes check them for the or the crispiness that you want again there's no wrong way to do this make sure you just give them a little zhuzh in the middle of the cooking time to make sure they're getting evenly roasted all over um i want i'm going to put those in the oven and let them cook but i'm not going to make you wait for 30 minutes so i wanted to show you i made a batch ahead of time so that you could see how these come out this is um how i like them I don't know if you can hear the crunch there. So that's how they come out. And these store, I store them just like this. Mmm. Sorry, that was so bad. I have, with a lid, airtight container on my counter. These will last for two weeks on your counter, maybe even more to be honest, in a dry, dark place. They're ready for snacking, they're ready for topping salads, they're ready for putting on top of your soup. They're like my favorite gluten-free crouton, if you will. Marsha from uh, beautiful uh, Washington said, this will be a great uh, road trip food. Oh, it's a great road trip food. Yes, absolutely. And it's so healthy. You don't have to feel guilty about it. It's protein packed like a nut. 
Um, but it's a little less caloric than a nut, so I believe. I, I would think so, because nuts are so, they're so good for you, but they're so high in the calories. Plus, again, they're so versatile. You can season them however you want. So again, I want to invite you, if you are not one of our members, to visit um, batchcookingclub.com backslash trial. You can try us for a month for a dollar. We also have a really great free planner that takes you through our five-step process that we use in our membership to help everybody simplify their dinners by planning and prepping their meals for the week in advance. So you can get that at batchcookingclub.com backslash planner. Um, and I love, we just updated it with some new fun stuff. So it's, I hope you'll take advantage of that. I love coming up with free resources that simplify dinner. And I would invite you to connect with me over at Veegmama, V-E-E-G-M-A-M-A, -E -E both on Instagram and Facebook. And then of course here at Batch Cooking Club here on Facebook and Instagram. We share recipes every week. As I mentioned, we have that curry cauliflower soup up on our blog. We do a weekly live cooking class here on Thursdays. And then over at Veegmama, I share a little bit more of my personal life with my kids, my family, how I feed my family of five being a vegan with non-vegans um, in the house. So I invite you to connect with me. I so appreciate you joining us today and I look forward to seeing you next Thursday. Have a beautiful day.